So before you say anything, I know what you're going to say. Jordan, it's another day and it's another video and you're wearing the same shirt and same clothes except this time they're more sweaty. And what I want to tell you is it is the same day for me, but maybe not for you. Also, I've been sweaty. I thought I would do a bit of a video tutorial on how to play the song Phoebe Bridges. That's not the song, that's the artist. How to play the song Funeral by Phoebe Bridges. Um, because it's a great song and there's not really a tutorial about it and I also picked this song because it's really just like the format of the song is verse and chorus and if you can get those two um, down you can play the whole song. The timing of the uh, lyrics with the chords is qu actually quite difficult for this song um, so just bear that in mind. Uh, Ned will be happy to help you out uh, if you are struggling so just reach out uh, his email address is ned at ned.com and if he's awake he'll sort you out. So the song is in G chords but in the fourth capo um, so if you'll need one of these pretty much otherwise what you can do is you can just play it without this and then just play it here uh, that'll be four steps down from what she plays it in um, so if you have a lower voice than her, that might be better for you. If you have a higher voice, you'll have to put it probably up on like five or seven. Um, I play it on four, uh, capo four, but like an octave lower. Um, if you need help putting on capo, this is probably not the right channel because I'll be sarcastic and mean and I'm sorry in advance. So we're not going to talk about that. You just put it on properly. So the chord progression for the verse goes G, C, G, and then the G is held for an extra bar, and then E minor, C, D. So I play a D like that, you can play it like that. I find it easier to play like that, just with the, um, so um, it lets you leave the G chord shape with your bottom two anchor fingers here, and then you can just... It's kind of like an unfinished um, D. It sounds great. You don't have to do that. You can just do this. I'll link the like the tablature, um, the chord chart or whatever down below if you want. That'll help you out. So it goes, I'm singing at a funeral. That's the C tomorrow, G. And then you hold the G again for a kid a year older than me and then you hold that again so so you can do your own finger picking if you want or you can just go yeah it's pretty easy you get the drill um, so I'm singing at a funeral tomorrow the G is held again for a kid a year older than me. You can do like a little sus thing, you don't have to, I like it. And that's really like, that's the first bit, the second bit is quite easy as well. The problem is there's a little bit of a build up and the, the lyrics start before the chords start, so that's a bit difficult. So the next bit goes, uh, we'll go from the top actually. I'm singing at a funeral tomorrow, G, G, for a kid a year older, C, than me, D, and we'll hold that again, and I've been talking to his dad, C, it makes me so sad, when I think too much about it, I can't breathe. So then it goes, first part of the verse goes G, C, G, and then G again. You hold the G, you don't actually play it again. And then E minor, C, D, and then D again. You hold the D, you don't play it again. So it goes, I'm singing at a funeral tomorrow. Hold the G. 
You're a kid a year older than me And you hold that D And then the next part of the first verse is you actually hold the G, the first G, twice. Um, so in the, the first part of the first verse, uh, the first part of the verse is you hold the end chord twice. The, f the second part of the verse is you hold the first chord twice, which is interesting. It's a nice little yeah. So it goes, and I've been talking to his dad, and you kind of play that twice. It makes me so sad, so G, C, G. When I think about it too much, I can't breathe. G, G, C, G, C, D, G, and then hold that end G again. So I guess all of it goes um, together. So you're going G, C, G, G again, E minor, C, D, hold the D, G, G, C, G, C, D, G. So I guess from the top, the lyrics, I won't say the chords obviously because I can't say the lyrics and sing, do the chords, whatever. I'm singing at a funeral tomorrow For a kid a year older than me I've been talking to his dad It makes me so sad when I think The lyrics are hard. The lyrics are hard to get into the vibe of the thing. Anyways, the second verse is much the same as the first verse, except when you play the chord on the first verse, you say, you play, I'm singing. You play the chord on that bit. This one, you play the G on dream. So, and I have this dream where I am screaming underwater. While my friends are all waving from the shore. I don't need you to tell me what that means. I don't believe in that stuff anymore. So yeah, there's a bit of a lead on for the, and I have this dream, but whatever. The next chorus is interesting, so it goes. Um, I'll just play it first and then I'll explain it. So, Jesus Christ, I'm so blue all the time. And that's just, she goes really high here, how I feel, always have, and I always will. Always have and I always will. Anyways, and then you can kind of do whatever you want there. You don't have to do what she does because it changes in the live performances and whatever. But pretty much the chord progression is uh, the same. It's E minor, C, G, D. Wonderwall. So, Jesus Christ. So, E minor, C, I'm so G, all the D. And that's just how I feel. Anyways, it's just, yeah, so. Mm -hmm. Anyways, so, yeah, once you really have that, um, the rest is the same. So, um, you just kind of, yeah. Um, the verses and the chords. Um, I do have a video where I play it, so feel free to watch that. Um, but also, I might do some more of these tutorials. This one's going to be horrible, as, of course, because it's my first one. And I'm leaving myself room for improvement. Um, 
yeah, won't go too much into that. Um, but yeah, let me know if you need any additional tips. Um, the strumming pattern is pretty like So two downstrokes and then some strumming and then some downstrokes again and then the chorus it goes so just lots of downstrokes anyways um, let me know if you need any help, any other help with that. Maybe I'll do another video. I'm not exactly sure how to structure these, but we will see how it goes in the end when it's all said and done. Thanks for listening to me. Thanks for listening to Ned. Uh, we're going to go to bed now and I'm going to change shirts for the next video, maybe. Thank you.